What we're going to be going over here is variance analysis here for direct materials, direct labor, and overhead, and we're going to look at it in terms of standard costing. Okay, so when we're doing variance analysis, really what we have is three different amounts or budgets that we really have to be looking at. So we'll be looking at, in this case, based on our standard costing, we're going to have some standard amount here that we establish for our labor materials and our overhead. And then based on uh, some results during the period or our actual results that we have, we're going to have the, to have to determine some actual amount here. And then knowing our actual amount and our standard amount, we're going to be able to determine the flexible amount here for our variance analysis. Okay, so the first thing here, when we're talking about variance analysis, this is where we're looking at and comparing our actual results versus, in this case, the standard cost. And our actual results are really are going to be our actual cost. And then our standard cost, that's going to be a predetermined uh, cost here for our labor, our material, and our overhead. Okay, so when we talk about our standard amount, what would that be? That would be the standard quantity that we allow for our labor, material, and overhead times some standard unit price. So standard quantity times some standard price equals our standard cost. Okay, and you would do that here when you develop your product or at the beginning of the period you'd have to de develop or determine your standard costing. So then when you actually look at your actual results, say at the end of the period or during the period, uh, you can compare your actual results to your standard amounts here. But your actual results would be the actual quantity that we use for our labor and material and overhead on a unit basis here times some actual price. So actual quantity times some actual price equals our actual results. Okay, so now we know our standard amount that we established here, or the predetermined amount that we established, and we know our actual amount that we have here, say that we, our actual results that we have here for the period for our cost. Now we can set up what they call the flexible amount or the flexible budget. And that's simply taking the actual quantity that we've used here for our labor material and overhead from our actual results, and we take that actual quantity times the standard price that we established here based on our standard costing here. So actual quantity taken from our actual uh, results here times the standard price from our standard cost Th that amount, our actual quantity times the standard price here, that's our flexible budgeted amount. And that's where we come in with our analysis, or our variance analysis here. This is the, where we're going to be looking for labor material and overhead. We're going to be comparing the actual results we have for the period with our flexible amount here and comparing our flexible amount with the standard that was established here. And also you look at uh, the overall variance, the actual versus your standard amount. Okay, so let's start with our direct materials here. So with our direct materials, you're going to have a price variance, a usage variance, and a quantity variance. So let's look at this price variance and see where we got that from. And that's really taking, it's really the difference between the actual price here and the standard price that we paid. Now, I got everything color-coded here so it's easy to follow it through. So just looking again back at our price variance, difference between our actual price and our standard price times some actual quantity that we purchased. And really that's where we're looking at our actual versus our flexible amount. So you can see with our actual amount here, let's see where we got that price variance from. The actual amount was our actual quantity purchased times the actual price. Flexible amount was the actual quantity here uh, that we purchased, actual price, actual quantity purchased, excuse me, from our actual results for the period times the standard price that we established here from our standard. Okay, so you see how this table works. Okay, so you can see here for that price variance, the common factor here between your actual and flexible amount was the actual quantity purchased here. Okay, so we can factor that out, move it down over here, and that's where we get our price variance. There's a difference between the actual price versus our standard price. We factor it out, the actual quantity that we purchased. Okay, so that's for our price variance, and that's how this table works here. It's all color-coded. You can see how it, 
how you can factor out your different variables. Okay, so now for the usage variable, usage amount or usage variance, excuse me, that's going to be your actual quantity that you used for the period and that amount times the difference between your actual price versus your standard price. Again, you're looking, comparing your actual results with the flexible amount. And you can see where uh, our f common factor here for this usage variance or the amount that we used here was the actual quantity used. We can factor that out here from our, our between our actual and our flexible amounts. So the difference was the variance is really the actual price here versus the standard price. You can see how we factor that out. Okay, so actual the difference between the actual price uh, the difference between the actual price and the standard price that difference times the actual quantity used was the usage variance again you can see usage is based on the quantity used here price was based on the actual quantity purchased difference between actual and the standard amount okay and then we got our quantity variance here and that's really going to be the difference between our flexible amount and our standard amount that we established here. So you can see for our flexible amount, it's going to be a quantity, so it's going to be based on the quantity used here times some standard price. Flexible amount takes the quantities, actual quantity from the from your actual results, and it times it times the standard price from the standard amount. And then for our standard amount, this is going to be the standard quantity allowed here for, in this case, for a direct material for our product here. So that you have a certain standard of quant quantity allowed times the standard price. Okay, so you can see how we can factor that out here. The common factor between a flexible and a standard amount is the standard price here. So the variance is going to be between the actual quantity used here versus the standard quantity allowed. And you can see that down here. Actual quantity used difference between the actual quantity used and the standard quantity allowed that difference times the standard price is our quantity variance okay so we'll go on here with our direct labor variance and it works in the same similar fashion here again we're going to have a rate or price variance and that's simply taking looking at uh, your actual versus your flexible amount so let's see what the common factor is here so the actual and the flexible share the actual hours used here and as a factor and the difference would be the actual rate here for direct labor versus the standard rate here allowed so uh, we just factor out our actual hours used here and then the rate or price variance with difference between the actual rate and our standard rate here so that difference times the actual hours used here between our actual and flexible amount is our rate or price variance and then for our efficiency variance that's going to be based on actual hours well the flexible we're going to have our flexible versus our standard amount here so the common factor between our flexible and standard amount here is those our standard rate so we can factor out our standard rate move down here for efficiency variance and the difference is going to be the difference between the actual hours used and their standard hours allowed here for direct labor for that product so difference actual hours used and compare that to the standard hours allowed times your standard rate here so that's your efficiency variance and then for variable overhead you're going to have a spending variance and again an efficiency variance so the spending variance that's going to be between the actual and flexible amount so you can see the common factor here between actual and flexible is again the actual hours used i'm showing that in green here everything is color coded here so you factor that out so what do you end up hit with here with the spending variance? It's the difference between the actual variable rate. We're talking, you're going to have some variable rate here for the variable overhead. So you got your difference between the actual variable rate and the standard variable rate allowed here, or standard variable rate. That difference times the actual hours used. Common factor here between actual and flexible is the actual hours used. Okay, so that's your spending variance. Now you're going to have an efficiency variance, and that's between your flexible and your standard amount. Okay, so what is the common factor between them? It's the, it's the standard variable rate here. Okay, so you can factor that out, and then the difference would be between the actual hours used versus your standard hours allowed, shown down here. Actual hours used, Compare that to the standard hours allowed, that difference times the standard variable rate. So that would be your efficiency variance. And then we come down to just the fixed overhead variance. That's a bit different here. Again, 
we're going to have a spending variance and a volume variance. So looking at our spending variance, it's just difference between the actual versus our flexible amount. And this is a little different here. We don't have any common term that we can factor out between the two here. So we're just going to have to look at the difference. So the actual amount would be the actual hours used times some actual fixed overhead rate here. There's going to be some a fixed overhead rate. Just like we had a variable overhead rate, we're going to have a fixed overhead rate, some actual amount. Okay, so that amount and then that would be the difference with the flexible amount. Here we're going to have what they call denominator hours here. And those are really, we're basing everything on direct labor hours here for our fixed and variable overhead. So the denominator hours is really the total uh, uh, labor hours here we have for the period. So our flexible amount would be the total denominator hours times some standard fixed rate. Okay, so that's our flexible amount. Standard fixed rate times those total direct labor hours here, denominator hours, and compare that to our actual amount, actual hours used times actual fixed rate. So that difference here is our spending variance. And then we get down to the volume variance, and that's simply the difference here between our flexible and our standard amount. So do we have a common factor here? Yes, we do. Standard fixed overhead rate. There's some fixed overhead, standard fixed overhead rate we share between our flexible and standard amount. And then the differences between those total denominator or direct labor hours that we're basing our rates on here versus the standard hours allowed here. So that difference, denominator hours, total direct labor hours here, compare that to the standard hours allowed, that difference times the standard fixed overhead rate. That's your volume variance. Okay, so we've gone through all our variances. Let's just finish up by looking at our key here so you can understand it. So I've gone through color-coded key here. So uh, the AQP here in green was the actual quantity purchased. SQU here in A, uh, or standard quantity allowed. SQA here was the standard quantity allowed here based on our standard cost. AP here was the actual purchase price. SP here in red was would be our standard purchase price. These are all on a unit basis here to understand that. AHU here was the actual hours used here. And those would have been um, direct labor hours really based on, or uh, whatever hour, whatever your basis was. And in this case, we were looking at direct labor hours. SHA would be the standard hours allowed in blue here. AV would be the actual variable, unit variable cost here on a per unit basis. SV is the standard unit variable cost shown in red. AF here would be an actual fixed overhead rate, again on a per unit basis. SF would be a standard fixed overhead rate here. And then DH would be some total, total direct labor hours. Okay, so that uh, we've just gone through the formulas here and the, what you would do here to determine your uh, variance analysis on direct labor, direct material, and uh, overhead, both variable and fixed, and based on standard costing and the actual results.